All right, let's learn some Unity. To create your first project, launch Unity and click the New button. Give your project a name. I'm going to use Demo-06 and then click the Create Project button. This is what Unity looks like when you first load it. Let's look around the interface. We've got on the right Inspector Navigation and Services. So let's click onto the Inspector as you'll be using that the most often. Look at the hierarchy. That's the list of the components that are in our scene. Right now Unity starts us off with just the main camera and a light. Under Project we can see the assets that are we're using. Right now we're not, we don't have any assets. So let's get started and make some objects. The first object we're going to create is a cube. If we go to Game Object 3D Object Cube that will create a nice uh, cube in the origin of our scene. Uh, let's set up some different views here. So uh, with this view, the top right, let's zoom in a little bit. The way we do that is by clicking on to the hand tool or by using Q shortcut key and then using two fingers on the Mac to zoom in or out. Uh, that's two fingers on the trackpad going up and down. So with this uh, scene here, if we use the three finger swipe on the Mac, we can see different views as such. Let's take the top view there. All right, let's create a, another object. If we go to Game Object 3D Object Plane, that will create a floor of sorts in our scene. Now we can see in our hierarchy we've got both cube and a plane. So if we want to move the cube, there are a few different options here. Uh, let's click, select the cube, and this tool here, the Move tool, uh, or W. Note with these uh, hand, move, rotate, scale, uh, we can choose Q, W, E, R, T to choose these different options. Uh, but we're going to move it and notice that these, uh, the X, Y, and Z axis get little arrows. And that's what axis that it will move on. So if we want to move this cube up, let's click onto the Y and just drag it up, drag it up or down. Uh, this isn't precise. If you tried to line the cube up exactly here, it might actually get stuck under the plane or it might uh, start by hovering over the plane, so that's no good. So if we look over here, we can see where we manually type in the coordinates. Uh, if we were to do 0, 0, 0, we would see the cube is back half in the plane. If we change the Y to a 1, uh, moving it up one unit, we'll see that it's now hovering above the plane. That's no good. So uh, we can infer from that exercise that the center of the cube is actually at the the center of the cube is where the position will move things to and from. So if we put 0.5, now the cube will be directly on the plane. Excellent. Another way to move the cube is by clicking on one of these red, green, or blue uh, squares here. That will let you move it in two axes and restrict it to those two axes, but give you freedom. So now we can move it on the X and the Y. Or if we put it back with Control Z and grab the green, now it'll stay on the ground because we're only moving the X and Z axis. Undo. Likewise, <laughs> this will let you nicely go around in the Y and Z. Great. The scale tool operates similarly in that it lets you drag any particular axis and size things however you want. Undo, undo, undo. This is the vertex select tool. We'll cover that later. All right, so we've got a cube. Let's have some physics fun here. So let's actually move it up above the plane uh, and we can see its shadow nicely here. Beautiful. Let's learn what some of these components do. Uh, the mesh render is the component that makes the cube actually show up. If we were to oops, uncheck the mesh render, so it just disappears. It's still there, uh, but the rendering engine hasn't been instructed not to show it. Let's turn that back on. Uh, let's add a component called rigid body. And you just type in rigid, say, choose rigid body. Ignore all the 2D components. If we were making a 2D game, we would choose 2D, well, the 2D equivalents, of course. Uh, here we can see Rigid Body has a few options, but let's just hit play and see what happens. The cube falls down. That's what the Rigid Body does. Well, it doesn't make things fall down, it makes them respect physics. Uh, so let's stop playment here, and we can 
modify one of the variables. Drag is the uh, error fluid coefficient. So if we pump this up to 10, it'll float down almost as if it's in water or uh, some kind of fluid. So that's kind of cool. So let's put the drag back down to zero and let's add a, uh, oh, let's turn off the collider and show what happens there. The collider is the component that handles the actual collisions. In other words, when the cube comes in contact with the plane. So let's turn off the box collider, hit play. Now it'll just pass directly through the plane because the collider is turned off. Let's have some more fun with physics. Let's make it a little bouncy. So let's create our first asset. We'll do this by uh, creating a folder because that's just convention within Unity community. So we'll call this physics. Go into the physics folder, right click, create uh, physics material. Okay, let's call it bouncy. And let's give it a bounciness of five. And let's drag bounciness or bouncy to the cube. Now, if we click the cube, you can see that it actually has added it in uh, to the box collider. Because so that makes sense. The bounciness is a physics material. The box collider is what handles the physics. So now if we hit play, we'll see it kind of bounces on the uh, floor. So if you want even more bouncing, you can take that uh, bouncy physics material that we made and we could drag it to the floor at the plane. There we go. Hit play and now we'll get even more bounciness. Boing, boing, boing. Looks like five is the uh, perfect number here to keep it bouncing at just the same height. Or maybe it's bouncing a little higher each time. I don't know. Anyway, let's have even more fun. Let's duplicate this cube. Now when we duplicate the cube with copy C, uh, or Command C, Control V, or Command C, Command V, and raise it up. You can see that it's maintained all of its original uh, properties, even including the position, uh, the box collider with the bouncy. It's great; it copies everything. So now, if we hit play, uh, these two cubes will bounce off of each other. Eventually, they'll get out of kilter, and maybe they'll fall off in a nice, beautiful. Oh, there we go! Look at that. Um, <laughs> it's fun. Look at that. Cool. So that concludes the first little demo of Unity.